Grinder cutoff discs are notorious for breaking for absolutely no reason. And I don't want to keep driving 30 minutes to Harbor Freight for new ones. So instead, I'll be 3D printing and testing my own grinder discs to save time and money. Since I don't have any silly carbide on me, I'll be making these dicks... <laughs> dicks... Whoa! I'll be making these discs out of good old rough and tumble PLA plastic. I've got four different designs here to test out. First, a dimensionally identical disc to the usual cutoff disc at only 1 16th of an inch thick. Next is a much thicker disc, but has a smaller cutting edge. Thirdly, a serrated disc. And fourthly, a hexagonal disc that I think might actually work pretty well. Now for materials we'll be testing against, I've got a Nerf dart, other PLA, a PVC pipe, and wood. You know, something I didn't think about is these discs might actually just explode when they get up to speed. Uh, this grinder rotates at over 11 RPMs, so it might be just so fast it blows the plastic art. Um, All right, see if my disc just explodes in three, two, one. Cool. I think we're good. 16th inch PLA blade versus foam. No problem at all. We're about to find out how well a 16th inch plastic blade does against a mosquito. But how well does it do against its own flesh and blood? It actually did surprisingly well, and I think it actually sharpened the blade because it melted, and now it's super rough on the outside. Now what if you're out in the field and need to cut a pipe? My blade is now noticeably smaller, but it actually was cutting the PVC, so I'm pretty impressed with that. All that really seemed to do was just melt the plastic onto it. It's kind of cool, actually. It looks like some forbidden bubble gum or something like that. But, ow. It actually, it literally looks like bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, see, all it did was burn it. No cutting at all. So that's where this one fails. Up next, I'm going to try this thicker one with a little bit of a cutting edge. Um, I think it might do better. But also, it could definitely do worse once the cutting edge is gone, because it'll just be a thick, blunt edge. So, we'll see. Next up, its own kind, uh, other PLA. Smelty. We can see a problem already with this blade. It's got through the wall thickness on the print. It's inside of the blade already, so this, this is probably not good. Looks like we've turned our single blade into two blades, which is actually kind of interesting. It definitely was cutting the PVC, but it was melting the blade. You can see it's a lot smaller in diameter now. Um, I'm curious to see how this is gonna do against wood. I think it's also just not gonna do anything against the wood, but we'll see. That looks pretty freaking cool, actually. No actual cuts into the wood, it just made it hot again. So I don't, I don't know if the uh, I don't know if plastic's gonna be able to cut wood. Now I think out of all the blades we're testing, the serrated one has the best chance at actually cutting through wood. So I'm gonna touch wood for the first trial against this blade and see how that goes. Well, much like my great grandmother, the teeth are totally gone on this now, but we did cut a little bit into the wood. I'm not sure if I can actually get an angle of it. You can see there's still a little bit of a cut there, which uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call that a success. I think that if I had an unlimited number of serrated discs and unlimited amount of time, I could eventually cut through the wood. So I'm gonna call that a success technically, that yeah, plastic can cut wood, just not for very long and not very effectively. So I take it, take that with a grain of wood, I guess. Now the last blade we're gonna test is this hexagonal shape. I think it actually might work because we saw on the serrated disc, it just, evaporated essentially um, but this has six giant uh, thingies to cut with what teeth this thing has six giant teeth to cut with and I think it's gonna take longer to like break them down so theoretically it should last longer 
but it's got a lot less teeth, so I... Let's just try it, I guess. Hexagon versus cylinder. Hexagon versus its blood relative. Well, we don't have much of a hexagon anymore. So much for uh, my theory that it would take longer to break it down. <laughs> Well, look at that. We've got a perfect little, uh, a perfect round disc now. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool. So what have we learned here today? Um, yeah, I guess you technically can cut wood with plastic, so that's pretty neat. It'll just take you a long time and a lot of material. Um, plastic can cut other plastic. That's pretty sweet. So is the plastic disc better than the Harbor Freight disc? Uh, no, not really. Not really at all. Oh, and if anybody wants, I'll be selling these for uh, $3,000 a piece. So uh, get them while they last.